Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on how to get your Databricks workspace set up with Unity Catalog. In this video, I'll walk you through all of the necessary steps involved to get your Databricks workspace Unity Catalog enabled. I'm assuming that viewers will already know what Unity Catalog is, but really briefly, it's a data governance solution on Databricks designed to provide a unified approach across all of your Databricks workspaces. In order to be able to follow along with this video, you'll need to have an Azure subscription with the relevant permissions to be able to create and manage resources. One other permission that's required is global administrator privileges. If you created your own Azure account for your own personal use, then the chances are you are a global administrator. But if you're using your organization's account, then you may not be a global admin. So to check if you're a global admin on the Azure portal, search for Microsoft Entra ID, and then under roles and administrators, you should be able to see your role. So as you can see, I am a global administrator. So if you're not a global administrator, then that's fine. It's just that you'll need a global administrator to support you for a part of this process. So specifically, the very first time you log into your Databricks account console, prior to creating a Unity Catalog Metastore, only a global administrator can be the account admin initially. So just keep that in mind for now. Okay, so let me summarize the steps involved. First, I'll create a resource group. I'll then create a premium Databricks workspace. It has to be premium as Unity Catalog is enabled for premium tier workspaces only. Standard tier workspaces don't support Unity Catalog. We then need to create a storage account and container to store managed table and volume data at the Metastore level. So essentially, the container will be the root storage for the Unity Catalog Metastore. So this storage account needs to be a Gen2 account. We then need to give our Databricks workspace access to the storage account and container. We can do this by using an access connector for Databricks. The access connector for Azure Databricks lets you connect managed identities to an Azure Databricks account. And then finally, we can enable our workspace for Unity Catalog by creating our Metastore using the access connector and storage accounts. So it's the access connector that's the link between our Unity Catalog Metastore and the storage account. And as a note, we need to make sure that the resources we create are all in the same region because Unity Catalog Metastores are region specific. Okay. So let's begin. So first of all, I'll create a resource group. So I'll search for resource groups and then I'll click on create. So let me call my resource group RG and I'll just call it this one actually, RG hyphen Unity Catalog hyphen UK South. And for the region, I'll select UK South. So just as a note, UK South is the closest region for me, but if if you live closer to a different region, then please select that and change the name here accordingly. So then let's review and create. Great. So now let's create the Databricks workspace. So search for Azure Databricks. And then click on create. So select your subscription and then the resource group that you just created. For the workspace name, I'll call it dbw hyphen lakehouse hyphen UK South. For the region, I will keep it as UK South. Now, importantly, for the pricing tier, you must ensure it's a premium tier workspace. Great. So you can now review and create. So while that's deploying, let me create the storage account and container. So I'll search for storage accounts and then I'll click on create. So select your subscription and your resource group and then give your storage account a name. So I'll just call it ST Unity Catalog UK South. So this is already taken. So I will just give it zero one at the end. Make sure the region is the same. And then for the performance, I will opt for premium and I'll select block blocks. For the redundancy, I'll keep it as the default, but importantly, under advanced, 
you must ensure hierarchical namespace is checked. This makes it a Gen2 storage account, and that is a requirement. So click on Review, and then Create. Great. So now let's wait for the deployment. And once that finishes, I'll create a container in this storage account. Great. So the deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource. And under containers, let's click on create. And I'll call my container UC Meta Store UK South. And then create. Great. So now, before we go into our Databricks workspace and enable Unity Catalog, we need to create an access connector for Azure Databricks and assign that to a managed identity, which will give storage blob data access to the storage account and container. So on the global search bar, search for access connector for Azure Databricks. So there should already, or there may already be one created for you, and that was created alongside the Databricks workspace. So that was automatically created, but I'll create a new one. Select your resource group. So you may notice an additional resource group and a network watcher resource group. These were created alongside the Databricks service. So just create, just select the resource group you selected, you created earlier. And now let's give it a name. I'll call it AC Unity Catalog UK South. Make sure the region's consistent. So select UK South and then review and create. Okay. So as soon as that's deployed, we can give it storage blob data contributor access to our storage account. So that's deployed now and I will locate the storage account and here it is. So this one was just created by default with the Databricks service. So you can ignore that for now. And under IAM at the storage account level, select add, add role assignment. And for the job function roles, select storage, blob, data, contributor here. And then click on next. Assign access to a managed identity and then select members. So you want to select the access connector for Azure Databricks that you just created, which is here. AC Unity Catalog UK South, and then click on select. And then finally, review and assign. Great, so that's been added. So you can see the role assignment has been assigned here, storage blob data contributor, and that will be inherited to the container level as well. So as you can see here, it's been, inher it's been inherited. Great. So the storage account and container allows storage blob data contributor access to the access connector. So we're now ready to enable Unity Catalog for our workspace. So let's locate our Databricks workspace and let's click on Launch Workspace. Great. So to enable Unity Catalog, you need to click on the drop down under your email and then go to Manage Account. This will open the account console. So if you're a global administrator, this should open fine. If you're not a global administrator, this will not open for you. And if that's the case, this is where you'll need to get support from a global administrator in your team. So get the global administrator access to your workspace. So that should be sufficient privileges to be able to access the workspace and open the account console. And once they do that, they should go to user management, locate your user account. So their user account will also be populated and they will be automatically assigned account admin. So they can then go to your user account, whatever that is, go to roles and then check account admin. So then you should now be able to access your account console. So once you are able to access the account console, go to data and then create Metastore. So to create the Metastore, you'll need to give it a name. I'll call mine UC Metastore UK South. You must assign it to a region as well. So this needs to be UK South for me because that's the same as the regions that I've created for my Databricks workspace. 
Um, and notice it does not accept spaces, so it's got to be a single word. And then you need to specify the ADLS Gen2 path to the root storage account that you just created. So for me, that will be this storage account here and this container. So the path you specify should be container at storage account name dot DFS dot core dot windows dot net. So you can see here, and that should be a forward slash, there should be a forward slash at the end. So container at storage account dot DFS dot core dot windows dot net with a forward slash. And then if you have an additional path relative to the container, then you can specify that. But for me, it's just the container. And then you need to specify the access connector ID. So locate your access connector resource, which is this one for me. And then on the overview page, you should see the resource ID. So you can copy that and then paste that here. And now you're ready to create the Metastore. Okay, so now we can assign our workspaces to the Metastore we just created. And these workspaces will be enabled for Unity Catalog. So the workspaces that should be available will be all of the ones that are in the premium tier and in the same region as this Metastore. So those will be the ones you can select. So let me select this one and assign it. So we're now enabling Unity Catalog. Great, so that was successful. So now, back in my workspace, so you can also access your workspace by going on data, selecting the Metastore, and then under workspaces, you can just click this link or select open here. But since it's already open, I will just go to this link and then under catalog, notice when I refresh, you should see a Metastore assigned here. So now, as you can see, this Metastore has been assigned to this workspace. So this workspace is now enabled for Unity Catalog. Great. So we've successfully enabled Unity Catalog and hopefully you didn't have any issues with the process. But if you did, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to help you. But I'll also leave some useful links and resources along with the video description. So please be sure to check those out. Great. So that's the end of this video. If you found it helpful, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.